showed you is the standard that will work for everybody. That's why we spent so much time on it. These other ones, it just really depends on what position you're in and if you really like it or not. I've got a, a good buddy of mine, Jared Bobes, who's like a leg lock master. He's taught me so much, probably second only to, to Steve. And the guy like dreams about leg locks, but he will get into these kind of weird positions because it's, it's natural for him and he gets them more than he does the other way. And I'd ask him about it and he'd say, well, just it just kind of fits for me. And you'll probably have the same thing. Well, why do you do that variation of Osoto guard? Well, it just kind of fits for me. You're gonna find the same thing happens with your grips. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you one's better than the other. I will tell you the first one will probably work for everybody. It might not be the best one, but I know for all body types, it will work. Some of these other ones just won't. You know, your arms might be too long, your arms might be too short, might be too muscly, you know, it just all depends. So I'll show you the next couple of ones. I'll give you a short amount of time to kind of work on them and then we'll move on to the, the next submissions, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is what probably everybody knows is the, the common leg lock for ankles, okay? It's the figure four grip. So all I'm doing here is I'm getting the, the headlock position on his ankle, I keep my thumb up, grab my bicep, and then lay my hand wherever feels comfortable, okay? Honestly speaking, doing this isn't gonna help very much because I wanna go up, okay? Lateral movement is not going to matter when I'm going up and down vertically, okay? But it does help me keep control of his, his leg if he tries to pull it out. All right, so don't get so caught up on what this hand is doing, okay? It's a fulcrum. It allows me to push down and pull up and keep him from pulling out. But honestly, if I just have this hand and I have a really crappy grip over here, this is not going to do anything. I point my thumb up yep. and it works, okay? So whatever you do, do not just grab your forearm and grab his shin because that's putting the flat part of my forearm underneath his, his leg. And that's really hard to get enough fulcrum to make him tap. I had to really try on that one. I just point my thumb up and I grab my bicep and it's much easier, okay? It's the same basics as what we were doing before, okay? Choke up, go there, okay? If I'm here and I do the same thing, it's not as easy, okay? So figure for it, headlock, grab your bicep, lay your hand onto a shin, arch, okay? Everything else is the same. Pinch with your knees, roll back, arch. You've got a lot of control with this one. It doesn't work so well with guys with really long arms because usually what'll happen is your grip's way the heck over here and then this arm's draping over there. So you have to kind of rotate a little bit and usually you're off, okay? I'm not saying it won't work for a guy with long arms. I'm just saying it usually works with guys with shorter, thicker arms, okay? All right, second one. 